Hello survivors, hello and welcome to another video, welcome to my channel. Um, this video is of course about a level up, a level up solo attempt where I was aiming for top 7. Uh, the prizes were first place Timothy Alert, uh, which has command. Second place was Alicia Alert, which was I think fully heals one character and does 300 to 400% damage, I think maybe to a line, or maybe to just one, I'm not sure. Not a great character. Um, third to seventh was Davy, which is um, attack three random characters. Well, one character's going to be known because you're the, this one selected, but two other randoms. It's not. Um, it's not adjacent. Uh, it's, I think it's 250% damage. Not huge amounts of damage, but it is actually pretty big. Uh, he still does quite a few hundred. Uh, we're looking at five, six hundred damage. But his, the main thing about it is that it does minus 60 damage to those three characters. So, effectively, in a good situation, he could one on three, depending on who he's against. Uh, he could be very hard to take down. And in conjunction with other characters, he could be very, very powerful. For instance, I have uh, Whispers Heath, uh, the, the other um, strong character. And with that buff going off and his rush, it would be lethal. It would be absolutely lethal. Um, like I said, main aim is to finish third to seventh, but... If I th if I thought I was getting pushed out into second foot somehow, and I or I made a mistake, I'd probably try and go for first. But I'm I'm mainly aiming for Davy just because I like him a lot. My main strategy for the tournament was going to be going for the tier three um, bonus objectives, where you get bonus points based on like leveling up certain personas or traits, and the tier three one gives 8k points the higher the highest points. Um, it's just something that you could object. I could objectively do while doing the level up tournament. Um, the tier one was for 1k, not really worth pushing. If it happens, it's a bonus. Nice. Same sort of thing for tier two. Tier four is the adrenaline rush uh, increase, which is it's just so much of a lottery. It's not really worth co like focusing on. If it happens, great. Otherwise, not not too much much of a problem. But tier three, because the the bonus is so high, i.e. 8k, that's like getting four levels of tier four, um, five star, um, just for free, basically on what you're leveling up already. You might as well just focus on that, and it gives you something objectively to just d do, um, rather than just like focus one character for ages and then go to the next character. It can be a bit boring this way, a bit more, a bit more, uh, a bit more fun. Uh, there are, there are m numerous amounts of uh, different objectives. Um, but my, pretty much all of them, I, uh, from what I understand, um, uh, require you to have um, three stars at, as a minimum because they all require either tier three or ultra rare. So uh, you can see I'm going to go through some of them on the screen. Um, it'll be like tier three uh, persona. So in this case, it'll be hunter. And that can be three star, four star, five star, but it has to be tier three. It gives you 8k um, bonus points if you get 30 levels. Uh, so you could put uh, 30 levels into a tier 3 3 star and get 8k points which uh, is pretty nice and handy it's particularly good for people who don't have a lot of 5 stars you could probably get top 7 in the tournament it would be hard, it's not going to lie, it would be hard you'd have to have a lot of characters in stock but you have to anyway um, then other one for instance uh, you have just for tier 3 or higher characters so again any, tier, uh, any 3 star or above tier 3 and you have uh, ultra rare um, traits. So for, so, for instance, ultra rare strong, ultra rare tough, alert or fast. Just 40 levels of those, so it's slightly higher. And then the last one is um, for ultra rare or better characters. Doesn't matter what tier it is. So it could be tier one, um, so a fresh five star or a fresh four star, and you have to do 50 levels um, of, of, a, of a character. Obviously, that's going to be difficult with a four star because you. The first uh, first tier is only 40 levels, but it's not too much of a problem. And then there are, there are other ones, um, but those are the main uh, those are the main ones that I I, I noticed, um, and I probably did that about 30 times. So it got me a good, at least you know a quarter of a million, a quarter of a million points on you know on top of what I did just on my base points from actually getting characters up levels, which is a really big bonus, especially if you're going for the big numbers. Like if you're going for first place, say two million you could effectively get half a million to maybe even like three quarters of a million or maybe even more just on bonus um points if you if you work it properly 
and that's really useful if, if there's a particular character in first place that a lot of people are battling for and it can really make the difference um, if, you, if you do it that way I had a pretty heavy item stock including over 4,000 uh, high replenish and loads of sunglasses more than enough sunglasses in my backpack my backpack was like the TARDIS of black backpacks just so many sunglasses so many shirts so many shoes loads of different items um, I got through quite a lot but I had at the end of the tournament I still had like over 3k or about 3k high replenish nearly a thousand sunglasses I think so we're good for another tournament um, the characters I had in stock, I had around 4,500 two stars in one camp, and that got down to around about two and a half thousand at the end of the tournament. I had 1,200 hunters, uh, no, no, rebels, just straight out rebels in one camp, and I aimed to get through those as quickly as possible so that I could start training new, new two stars in that camp for the duration of the event, and then another camp just had. Um, trainees two stars being trained and in the last camp had over 300 days of legendary for the next effectively the next installment of a level up attempt so I got through my I, I, I basically leveled up straight away for about the first hour I got around about 700k points I got through the 1000 1200 rebel characters um, just so I could like I said so I could start leveling uh, so I could start um, training new two stars um, and I just sat there I just wanted to wait let people catch up it took people like 24 hours to catch up because people took it slow the thing with level ups are is that you can get a lot of points very quickly like I, like, like I just showed you in an hour I got 700k points so it got to about a day in um, and people were starting to get around my numbers like I said I was aiming for third to seventh so and I, I'm pretty sure the way things panned out, a lot of people didn't want to be second. Um, they were waiting a lot. They weren't pushing. First went ahead like a million points ahead at one point or, you know, 750k points ahead. No one was trying to catch him because no one wanted to ha be second. Um, in the end, obviously, so I think someone did push into second just because they were fearful of not getting a character, I think. So, I mean, I probably would have done the same if I was, was worried that I wasn't going to get a character continue to, to farm uh, my two stars out of the training camps and just add some points here and there doing the three tier three um, objective getting quite a lot of points I tried to level up characters that I wanted to as well five stars um, and try to get them to the end of a tier that basically means you know tier one level 50 this is for five stars tier one level 50 tier two level 60 tier three level 70 um, or, or effectively maxed out but that takes so much food and so many characters it's not really a good idea to try and max out a tier 4 character in a level up it just unless unless you're not really going for the win it just takes so much resources um, but I, I maxed out a couple to tier 3 and that way between tournaments I can just put one stars into them to try and get their rush up because um, I don't think going for rush the rush objective in tournaments is really that good an idea I mean it's just complete random and it's better to just try and get their rush up when it's gonna cost a little less in food if you wait until they're maxed out it costs quite a lot of food to just even put a one star into them like 10 one stars will be like you know a couple of hundred K food so um, that's always the risk so as you can see it boils down to like the last eight hours still keep still going at it um, and this continues um, until the last last hour I want to say um, but mainly the last half an hour uh, where I'm, I'm going from third to seventh almost constantly you know hitting fifth fourth and then back down to sixth and so on um, and then it got to the last five minutes and I was I was pretty steady in, in third place looking like feeling quite comfortable it did seem like a couple of the people that were in the battle either just didn't have the characters any more characters or which can just happen is they forgot they went to bed you know this did finish past midnight uh, European time so some people obviously had to wake up for work and so on um, or um, like me nearly like I said I, I actually forgot it got to the last 20 seconds how stupid is this last 20 seconds and I completely phased out that I was in the tournament still and I just concentrated a bit too much on my um, my web browser watching twitch I think I was watching um, CSGO just a, some CSGO um, game 
Um, not even like a, a, a big tournament game, just just a basic CSGO. I think it was ESCA, ESCA main playoff game. Uh, like I think it was Mystic, the team Mystic that I was watching. And I, I look back and the tournament finished and I was just like, oh, I've, I messed it up. I messed it up. And of course, I'm sitting there. Fortunately, my region gets the prizes very quickly. But I'm sitting there and the prizes start to come through and the first prizes come through and I am not going to joke I had my ha head in my hands I just thought I threw it away then I realised that um, it was the raid tournament that came through first so I was just like oh okay not too bad could have been worse could have been worse um, which I, feel, I think I finished in like 500 I just wanted to get some rewards for that um, and then about I think two or three minutes later level up rewards came through and um I got Davy. I finished in fourth place. I got pretty fortunate that people didn't catch up. As you can see, someone uh, snuck into seventh place, got themselves a Davy, um, and I, most importantly, I got myself a Davy. And the character that I like a lot um, is going to work very well in conjunction with uh, with my Heath. Um, big damage buff from Heath, and then Davy's rush will be pretty lethal. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to go in on another solo level up in the next probably in the next month and then I probably won't go in on another solo level up for a while this will be my sec this is my second like the first one I did I, I was mainly testing out and I got um I got pretty much the same sort of position I was third place um a little less points I was about just just about a million points and I got a five star um strong Rosita which isn't too great um I was just mainly just trying to get a five star character basically um, so much better five star this time around and hopefully I might go for the win next time it really depends on the character I probably would have gone this time um, I think if they would have made Davy the number one a lot of people would have gone for that because Davy is pretty nice but regardless happy and uh, yeah that's the end of this video I will be bringing you another video um, at the end of the month 100% but maybe another video between now and then uh, the end of the month video of course will be my uh my april pulls video and this will be a bit of a booster month because of this level up i doubled down on my second region legendary training so i might have like an extra 10 or maybe 15 legendary pulls i'm not 100 percent certain of the amount in terms of numbers but we'll see uh, thank you very much for tuning in and keep surviving and see you next time